and welcome to Prime News with me Anjali. Let's have a look at the headlines first. CM refutes clash between Parikar and Sripad over induction of Pandurang Mandkekar into BJP. Sripad says it is completely wrong. Ask BJP's Central Election Committee for review. Government approves Vasco Panji and Mapsa ODPs. High Court and Lok Ayukta fixes next hearing on Margao and Ponda ODPs on December 28th, where huge fraud alleged against Movin Gudino. Goa forward alleges 200 crore rupees scams against Water Resources Department Minister Dayanand Mandrekar. Ask CM not to give him 2017 ticket. And now the news in detail. Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsekar Monday refuted the clashes between Defence Minister Manohar Parikar and Ayush Minister Shripad Naik over induction of Pandurang Markekar in BJP. Parsekar slammed the media for asking twisted questions to ruling MLAs. Parsekar advised the media to ask Shripad or Parikar and not drag him into the controversy. Shripad Naik has told the media that he was merely informed by Parikar and not consulted and that he opposed the decision. Shripad Monday clarified that he had nothing against Markaikar or Movin, but it's a question of principles. Their induction in BJP is completely wrong. BJP's Central Election Committee should review the decision. Shripad is learned to have told a section of media. Defence Minister Manohar Parikar had informed the media that the Union Minister of State for Ayu Shripad Naik was consulted before inducting the former Kumbarzoa MLA Pandurang Markaikar into the party. But the news is making round that Shripad Naik has disclosed that he was not consulted but the decision was informed to him and he had termed the move as wrong. Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsekar played a safe game by not commenting on it and calling the media to focus on other important issues. However, when Prime TV tried to contact the Ayush minister, he was not reachable. Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsekar also disclosed that the government has signed an MOU with Srinivas Dempo Group in the field of education. As part of the MOU, two rural government schools from Dhargar and Sange were given to the Dempos for the term of three years. As part of it, all the expenses and needs of the schools will be taken care of by the Dempos, including the salaries of the teachers. Parsekar also called on other business houses to come forward and share the responsibilities of government in the field of education. CM also disclosed that the state has built 14 new schools with state of art. Five government colleges have been given the best infrastructure, he said. <laughs> For Prime Video Journalist Santosh Kumar Panjim. The Town and Country Planning Department has conveyed the government approval for Vasco, Panjim and Mapsa outline development plans. The approval has been conveyed to the respective planning and development authorities. The PDAs will now issue notification notifying three ODPs, Chief Town Planner Puttaraj told the media. Though there are issues with the three ODPs, none has gone to the court. The Margao and Ponda ODPs are on hold after two petitions were filed, one in the High Court and another before the Lokayukta. In the petition before the Lokayukta filed by Advocate Iris Rodericks, Goa Lokayukta Justice PK Mishra has asked the Member Secretary SGPDA Ashok Kumar and Chairman Movin Gudino to file a reply by December 27th, though they asked for three weeks. Both cases will come up on December 20th. 
Goa Lok Ayukta Justice PK Mishra on Monday commenced a preliminary inquiry into the complaint filed against the Haridap outline development plan of Margao and Ponda being prepared by South Goa Planning and Development Authority headed by former Daboli MLA Movin Gudino over the alleged scam advocate Iris Rodriguez informed So the honorable Lok Ayukta has uh, started the preliminary inquiry today uh, the South Goa Planning Development Authority has been directed to file uh, complete details of consultations held with the municipal councils of uh, Margao and Ponda and uh, they have been directed to file it by tomorrow morning. Adjourning the hearing to December 20th, the Lok Ayukta has also directed SGPDA to produce the records relating to issuance of notice to all members of SGPDA for meeting held on 15 December 2016 and the subsequent meeting scheduled if any Iris disclosed. It has been pointed out to the Lok Ayukta in the complaint that uh, Mervin Mervin Gudino for vested interest was trying to uh, bulldoze this uh, outline development plan which is obviously a multi crore scam to benefit the builders in which uh, Mervin Gudino must have also enriched himself sizably so uh, all this investigation will be now done by the lok ayukta for prime video journalist sanin arvekar panjan goa forward came down heavily on water resource department minister dayanand mandrekar on the christmas day over the alleged 200 crore rupee scam Goa Forward stated that Mandrekar can be compared to Adani's and Ambani's with the assets owned by him. Goa Forward disclosed that it has filed a complaint with the Central Vigilance, Prime Minister Modi, Directorate of Enforcement Headquarters, and the Governor of Goa with documentary evidences. Goa Forward also called on Chief Minister Lakshmi Kant Parsekar to refrain from giving Mandrekar the ticket to 2017 elections. Durga Das Kamath said Movin and Parikar were like two bulls. earlier locking horns now both the bulls are in the same camp he said goa forward alleged that dayanand mandrekar threatened the contractors to carry out the work without tenders and the same is evident with the contractor asking goa forward spokesman milton marcus not to file a complaint goa forward demanded that the audit should be conducted by the comptroller and auditor general of india of all the tenders passed by the wrd department in 2012 till date Goa Forward spokesman Milton Marcus said CM2 had raised his concern over wastage of funds in the art and culture sector. Goa Forward also resolved to expose Mandrekar's corruption in the art and culture department. Ani kaam je kela te paise tumi ani corruption je involve hate paise tumi ya photo je tumka gomon etle. E toya che kaam eka foundation na BJP was elected to power because they promised to fight against corruption and scamsters. But to the contrary, scams and corruptions have increased. There is a competition between the party leaders of who makes more money. The story of rags to riches is evident with the WRD minister Dayanand Mandrekar looting more than 2,000 crores public money through purchase of illegal assets. Goa Forward spokesman Milton Marcus alleged. Two tenders were passed for the Kanka Narayan Dev Lake. One for the repair worth 20 lakhs, and second for beautification worth 43 lakhs. But the work is substandard. Goa Forward spokesman Milton Marcus alleged. He asserted that action should be taken on Mandrekar for acquiring the land illegally and compelling people to commit suicide. This is the state of affair. Ani, how is it now? How is it now? Ejer kai, your CM Zawam, your Defence Minister, action go to na. क्या तो संगत करप्शन तो मुंटोलो ना दैट इज नॉट करप्शन दैट इज एटेम्प टू करप्शन सो दिस इज द स्टेट ऑफ अफेर्स इन गोवा या मिनिस्टर इतनी लुटा लूट के कि हाँ मगता सीएमा कड़े कि टिकेट पसंद तीन दिवस ना Parikar and Movin had filed a case against each other of scams. Both the bulls were locking horns against each other, but suddenly both have come together. The defence minister is now seen defending Movin. It's like filing a complaint of rape and then declaring it's an attempt to rape. Goa Forward spokesman Durga Das Kamath said, 
Goa Suraksha Manch too has pointed out about match fixing with other political parties to be in power by Parikar. This clearly shows that the morale of BJP is down and won't be able to win more than 12 seats. Goa Forward spokesman Durga Das Kamat stated. He castigated Parikar for not taking Ayush Minister Shripad Naik into confidence over inducting Congress MLA Pandurang Markaikar. There is no stability and they are promising of giving stable government, Kamat said. It was an attempt to scam. I was like, you have raped, 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 you have raped. For Prime Video Journalist, Mahesh Vangankar, Panjim. After lots of will he, won't he, Santa Cruz MLA Atanasio Montserrat finally stepped into the capital city. Not that he wasn't there before, but what we mean is, he has opened his election office in Panjim in mega style. Panjimites were greeted with huge billboards of Babush at the 18 June Road on the Boxing Day, a day after Christmas. The billboards say, I know your problems, I have the solution. Though Babush announced that he would contest from Panjim, it is his relation with the BJP that had forced him to step back in the past. But in 2017, he seemed to be determined to capture the BJP citadel of Manohar Parikar, given his majority in the corporation of city of Panjim. Babush Monserrat, who is an unattached MLA, seems to have arrived at some understanding with the Congress, with party bigwigs visiting him. Presently, it seems Babush will try to corner four seats. Panjim, where he said he will contest, Taligaon, where his wife Jennifer is the sitting MLA, Santa Cruz and San Andre, a former Congress MLA, Francisco Silvera, has been recruited on his team. For Prime Video Journalist, Sunny Narvekar, Panjim. Education is the most important tool for social economic development. Right to education should be for all. Former Director General of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Dr. Raghunath Mashelkar said during the Govantak Maratha Samaj Yuva Parishad program. A number of businessmen were felicitated during the Yuva Parishad. Prime TV CEO Pradeep Palekar was felicitated for his outstanding contribution to the society and business on the occasion. The largest accommodation provider in the world, Airbnb, does not have hotels. Largest retail, retail in the world, Alibaba, has no students. But she says, my generation, we want to create our own microsoft. For Prime Video Journalist, Mayesh Vaingankar, Panjim. Chief Minister Lakshmi Khan Parsikar expressed happiness over upcoming and completed infrastructure projects done by his government, keeping in mind the future needs of the people. While inaugurating the new primary school building at Tue, Chief Minister said that the school is number one model school among various government primary schools in Goa. The school is built at an estimated cost of 2.50 crores with all the academic and curricular facilities. Now let's take a short break. We'll be back soon. Welcome back. Over 200 supporters of Aam Aadmi Party protested outside the Anti-Corruption Bureau office after the ACP summoned up Chief Ministerial Candidate Elvis Combs for interrogation in the Marga Housing Board scam. The party members refuted involvement of Elvis in the alleged land acquisition as the Housing Board Managing Director. Aap convener Arvind Kejriwal said Elvis is honest and is being victimized by BJP government. Spokesman Oscar Rebello too said that Elvis is being harassed and the act is as an assault on democracy. After the interrogation, Elvis told the media that he is innocent since the denotification of land took place two months before he took the office. Elvis Combs, the then managing director of Goa Housing Board, was named as the accused along with former Housing Board chairman Nilkant Harankar for allegedly dropping the acquisition of land for the Housing Society. 
up spokesman Oscar Rebelo lashed out at BJP and stated that it was a political move to terrorize the political activities. He asserted that Elvis was innocent and the case against him was false and fabricated. Oscar called on Goans to choose up and its leaders with a stable backbone and not those taking U-turns as per the tide of money, commerce and business. Oscar said that Elvis was going through the torture and humiliation only for the Goans. On loan, I'm so corner, one bag cut that and you can't eat that. I'm not sure where I'm going to be on Sangpaji. The case against Elvis is totally false, totally fabricated, totally rubbish, and it's an assault on democracy. Up CM candidate and the former housing board managing director Elvis Combs said that the ACB had registered his statement and he has made it clear that he was not involved in the alleged scam. Elvis, however, said that proving someone who's honest guilty was common in politics, but such tactics won't affect him and his party. So, I'm going to pass on it. 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 I'm going Kalangut MLA Michael Lobo has said Goans in the tourism business, especially private check owners, are suffering due to the NGT order on the beach carrying capacity. He called for five years license for the shakes. Lobo underlined the need to have a separate substation for Kalangut and underground cabling in the coastal belt to give an uninterrupted power to Kalangut, Kandoli and Sikeri area. Lobo has initiated cleaning of roadside garbage in Kalangut and blamed the panchayat for not doing their duty. साफ स्टेशन हम चाहे कंदुली हाँ ते अपग्रेड कर चाहे मनन आमी गवर्नमेंट आगोडे मागले अ प्रोपोजल वेंट टू द गवर्नमेंट वेर अ सेंक्शन ऑफ 1.3 करोस ऑलरेडी ऑर्डर इश्यूड अपग्रेडेशन ऑफ साफ स्टेशन एट कंदुली साफ स्टेशन कलांगुड़ जाऊँ चाहे मनन आदि सुन कितने पॉलिटिशन उलान गले ये फाइल आमी मूव के लिए लैंड एक्विजिशन ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीट जाए थी इल्लिया जहाँ यह कुस्टल बेल्ट का इस गौरव जहाँ इतने आमी सेंक्शन फ्रॉम सेंटर एक्टले अंडरग्राउंड केबल ऑफ एलटी लाइन एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मर सेंटर्स ये जो तोर जाए जले अनइंटरप्टेड पावर टू द पीपल ऑफ कांडोली कलांगुट बागा � on cleaning of roadside garbage. Kalangutan Mote Pramanan roadside garbage patta. 100% clearance je zaupak zai from the panchayat side zaina. For Prime Video Journalist Subhash Kutwalkar Mapsa. Central Government's Digidhan Mela, Lucky Grahak Yojana and Digidhan Vyapar Yojana will be launched on December 20th at Inox Panjim by the Goa Governor Mridula Sinha. The day-long Digidhan Mela will bring all banking institutions and digital service providers under one roof to educate people on digital payment, to register new users and disseminate necessary information. A lucky draw too will be held on all transaction IDs generated since demonetization was announced and prizes will be given by the Goa Governor, Defence Minister and Ayush Minister. A final jackpot of all transaction IDs will be held in April with 1 crore rupees as prize money. Weekly draws too will be held to encourage people to register and use digital payment methods. Panjim was one amongst the 25 cities selected for the Digi Dhan Mela, Lucky Grahak Yojana and Digi Dhan Vyapar Yojana. The scheme is introduced by government and is overseen by Niti Ayog and supported by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. IT Director Amai Abhyankar informed. There will be a lucky draw and winners will be selected by NPCI. This draw will be conducted by the National Payment Corporation of India. They are having the repository and the database of all such transactions. So they will carry out this lucky draw and the winners will be announced and prizes will be given at the hands of the Honorable Governor. So this uh, occasion will be also used as a mela, so that we can, you know, create further awareness, enable the people to come and use this online cashless transaction. That's the idea. For Prime Video Journalist, Santosh Kumar Panjim. Several locals from Vasco protested against the illegal landfilling of lake near the Tanya Hotel. 
The locals stated that the area is being used by the authorities to dump mud and this can be dangerous as the area has lot of drainage connections that can be choked due to illegal landfilling. The local councillor also said that she was not informed and was unaware about the landfilling. Murbanga Municipal Council Chief Officer Dipali Naik, who was also unaware about the illegal landfilling, has resolved to initiate an inquiry in the matter. See, this area is a catchment area. And the amount of volume that has been displayed by this uh, illegal filling will lead into uh, water level coming up and the houses will be uh, under water at least two feet at, uh, at least. That is what I feel. I am an illegal feeling. I am a surrounder. I am a surrounder. I am a surrounder. I am a surrounder. I am ते साइड इन काढला आणि एक मशीन घातला की लोकांक सांगता आज इलेक्शनांक दोन महिने आमले स्विमिंग पूल करता म्हणून आपण ते स्विमिंग पूल करतलो होयचान दोन महिन्यात ते स्विमिंग पूल कंप्लीट झातले काय ना केले असा की आणि एक डम साइट हे झाले आणि ते परमिशन भी मिळले असा आणि ते मॅटर आम्ही हंगा कुटप केले असा की हंगा डम्प यार्ड सप्लो आला पुढे काय घालपा मेटल सोचो म्हणून तो आता सेकंड मेळा काय हा ओला की रे असा ती पळता आणि विल गो आहे ओ प्राइम वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट किरण बोरकर वास्को चीफ मिनिस्टर लक्ष्मीकांत पारसेकर मंडे सेड दैट हिज गवर्नमेंट वाज सक्सेसफुल इन क्रिएटिंग रिक्वायर्ड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन एजुकेशन एंड स्पोर्ट्स ही प्रेज़ द एफर्ट्स ऑफ हिज गवर्नमेंट इन बिल्डिंग ओवर 40 स्पोर्ट्स ग्राउंड्स थ्री न्यू स्टेडियम्स एंड ओवर 14 हाई स्कूल्स व्हिच आर ऑल ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ आर्ट प्रोजेक्ट्स पारसेकर वाज स्पीकिंग वाइल प्रेजेंटिंग द स्टेट अवार्ड टू द फिजिकल एजुकेशन टीचर्स एंड वॉलंटरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस the Department of Sports and Youth Affairs conferred state award upon physical education teacher Rof Khan Patan and Chaitan Kavlekar of secondary and higher secondary schools. Yuva Mala Panjim and Green Cross received the state award in voluntary organization category, whereas the individual youth award was conferred on Malaika Waz, the explorer, social entrepreneur and wildlife presenter. Stadium Amitri Navin Mande, Ek Synthetic Stadium, दो एक मापसा आणि एक दोना पावला स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट सरकार बांगलादेश स्कूल असत बांगलादेश कॉलेजेस असत बांगलादेश स्टेडियम असत बांगलादेश ग्राउंड्स असत बांगलादेश ब्रिजेस असत बांगलादेश हॉस्पिटल असत बांगलादेश जे गोष्टी आम्ही केले वी हैव ट्राइड आवर लेवल बेस्ट टू सी दैट पीपल गेट द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट हाउ सो दैट इज रिलेशन टीचर आणि माका खंत अशी रे केन्ना की फिजिकल एज्युकेशन टीचर जो असा नाही स्कूलामध्ये किंवा हायर सेकंडरीमध्ये अत्यंत महत्वाची भूमिका पार पडता आणि असे दिसताना केन्ना जर तो निग्लेक्ट जाता का किती आणि ही खंत मागाय असे म्हणजे सगळे फिजिकल एज्युकेशन टीचर जे असतात त्यांना काही दिसले फॉर प्राइम व्हिडिओ जर्नलिस्ट संतोष कुमार पांजून now let's take a look at the headlines once again. CM refused clash between Parikar and Sripad over induction of Pandurang Mandkekar into BJP. Sripad says it is completely wrong. Ask BJP's Central Election Committee for review. Government approves Vasco Panji and Mapsa ODPs. High Court and Lok Ayukta fixes next hearing on Margao and Ponda ODPs on December 28th, where huge fraud alleged against Movin Gudino. Goa Forward alleges 200 crore rupees scam against Water Resources Department Minister Dayanand Mandrekar, asked CM not to give him 2017 ticket. How you like this newscast? WhatsApp us on 9637969244 or email us on newsprimegoa at gmail.com. Prime wishes all a happy holiday season and a safe year end. Thanks for watching Prime. Take care and goodbye.